Hi, uh, I'm Eric Delacroix. I'm one of the co-founders of Euronova. Uh, at Euronova, we are experts in data. What is your AI product? Let me introduce Digazoo. Uh, Digazoo is actually a shortcut to uh, your models, your AI in production. Um, it's the automation of the whole process of collection, uh, storage and distribution of um, the data that are supposed to feed the model first and then to enable your AI to run in production and even in real time. Basically, Digazoo takes care of all this part and lets you focus on the development of your models. How does your AI product work? So Digazoo automates um, the collection of the data to the acquisition of the data schemes, uh, let you explore through SQL all the data you would have connected to feed your models and uh, are streaming them towards the applications that need to exploit the data and the insights that you would have developed on top of it. Um, so it really uh, enables to use uh, streaming, distributed processing and distributed storage without code. In which sectors can you apply it? What is specific to Digazo is that it's usable in any business, basically, because all the business are producing data. And when it comes to develop artificial intelligence on top of it, it always asks to collect them, store and distribute them. So we are using it in the press sector, but also in the industrial production. Uh, we even use it in the insurance industry, in the more broader in the financial industry. So Digazo is really a data hub. It doesn't depend on the business, it depends on the data. Which technologies were used to develop it? And what is great with the gas, with that uh, it encapsulates uh, the technologies like Flink for this distributed processing, uh, Kafka and Kafka Connect for all the connection and streaming part, uh, HDFS for all the storage aspect, uh, and even Kubeflow is integrated to the whole suite to be able to explore and crunch your data. Uh, all this works together and are all, already assembled, actually. So it's really a powerful tool that doesn't require to code to build great data pipelines. What is the level of complexity and number of days needed to develop it? So about the complexity, basically the Gazoo intended to reduce the complexity of transporting data and exploiting them. We wanted to reduce uh, the cost of ex data exploitation. Uh, so basically, you don't need to code to transport your data. You just need to develop great uh, algorithm on the, the data science part. Uh, and so in one day, you can have a full uh, data hub in place, up and running. That's the Gazoo. And then to develop a use case on top of it. To ingest data takes some minutes, actually. And then to build the model will take you between four and six weeks usually for uh, at least the first baseline. But then it's up to you and up to where you want to go in terms of accuracy and value uh, while deploying your models. And the level of complexity of this development is pretty much advanced actually, because we use really the cutting edge, the bleeding edge technologies, and we make them work together uh, by abstracting all the complexity for the end users. So. It took us really a lot of engineering skills to put that together. What is the business value of your AI product? So the first value of the Gazoo is really the, the time that you don't spend on the data pipelines and the time you focus on developing your models. That's basically the first value for each use case you reduce the effort to build them. But then the second value is also the time to market of your use cases. What is the value you create when you go to market six months or one year earlier? That is the second business value of the case. Which skills do you need to develop it? Yeah, this is the magic of the Gazoo. You don't need coding skills to build powerful data pipelines. But if you are skilled in Scala, for example, then you can build advanced user functions. But basically, the Gazoo has been conceived to avoid you to need those technical skills, except on the data science path, of course. You need your data scientists to be very skilled to build the best models you need.
So the skill we need for the Gazoo were actually an in-depth knowledge of uh, Flink, Kafka, HDFS, and to assemble them, uh, we used Elixir, for example, but a lot of other uh, great fun technological aspects that I can't cite even here. Can we learn more about your AI product? So the Gazoo is developed now for two years and it took up to 2,000 main days approximately, but just because we have some of the best data engineers in Europe, I think, uh, within Euronova to develop the Gazoo. Uh, and we did that just to avoid the companies to spend those days actually building their own data hub. So the first version, the first usable version of the Gazoo has been released uh, end of last year. And it's now used to, for example, personalize the experience uh, on uh, a content platform to personalize so the content delivery to each user. Um, it's also used in marketing uh, to really address the problematic of uh, uh, building personas, but then use them in real time on the e-commerce uh, platform. Um, but more generally, the Gazoo is a platform that helps to combine hot and cold data, so real-time data and historical data, and to make them work together to build the greatest insights and to be able to use them even in real time. That's basically what the Gazoo does. Why is it essential for companies to implement AI now? And so you must take the wave now to build AI and to use it in production, uh, just because your competitors are actually doing it. And those competitors can come from everywhere. So today it's time to do it because you have the experts close to you. You have governmental initiatives. You have the Rezo uh, AI in Wallonia. You have very skilled and talented companies to help you building those models. You just need to trust them as they won't replace you. They won't just increase the power and the value of your business like you do it for years now, but better in your future.